everyone. I'm Dr. Basili, your orthopedics faculty with Maro, and it gives me immense pleasure to introduce you, uh, Dr. Anirudh, who has secured rank two in INI set exam. Hi, Anirudh. Uh, how are you? Uh, so I'm fine, sir. Uh, I'm how extremely happy right now. How, how does yeah, it feel? Uh, because this is surreal. Everybody wants to know how a rock topper feels once they realize they have topped. <laughs> so, uh, I couldn't believe the result at first and uh, I've checked it like, I, I don't know, 15, 16 times. <laughs> I couldn't believe it now also, but I'm extremely happy. My parents are extremely happy. Everyone. And I can Everyone of my friends. Uh, before uh, starting this live uh, <laughs> session, he has actually asked us to check it at least a few times because he couldn't believe himself, right? And it, it, it's a wonderful feeling. It's so surreal. Uh, just typing in your roll number and looking at a single digit next to it. I mean, it's just like bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I couldn't so, believe it at first. Okay, Anirudh, I, I just don't want to waste time. I, I want to use this time to give out as much information to the people watching this to learn your strategy to crack INS exam, right? So let me start with this. Uh, what was your primary source for preparation that helped you secure this rank in INS set? So my primary source for preparation was Marrow, sir. But All right. So you are a Marrow Plan C user. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I've I've been using Marrow Plan C for the last three years. Wonderful, wonderful. So let me just ask you, uh, who among all the faculties, I know all the faculties on the platform are amazing, but uh, who are your favorites? It can be one, two or any. Uh, to, to be exact, uh, you are one of my favorites sir. and uh, uh, Rohan sir is one of my favorites and Dr. Sakshi is also one of my favorites. Awesome. Uh, awesome. So, uh, uh, so what did you like about uh, us? I mean, uh, specifically, I mean, there must be a few things that you, you know, you liked. Uh, so the thing is that when you read a textbook, you have to read it like, I, I don't know, like two, three times to get, gain the essence of the topic or something like that. But uh, when I listen to the videos and I could understand stuff uh, very fast and very conceptually also. Right. So well, what about the, the way they would explain? I mean, the teachers, I mean, how, how did you feel the explanation was? Was it complicated? Was it simple? Uh, it was really simple, sir. And uh, they used to tell the tricks and tr uh, tricks how to remember stuff and what stuff would be volatile. I would get an idea of what to read for the next time and how to revise and all. So I would know the important points for the exam also because well, uh, without a teacher's guidance, everything would be appearing the same. So when I watch the videos, it would be nice to have guidance about the important points in the pair. Uh, let, let, let's just say, I mean, uh, you uh, uh, after watching the videos, I mean, did you make your own notes or did you purchase the ready-made notes? So I purchased the ready-made notes, sir. So I used to add uh, notes after watching the video. Like during uh, during the video, I used to write points. I used to add concepts and all. And while revision and all, I've used them for revision. So. Okay, so you'll watch the videos and if there is any information extra given by the teacher or something that would help you understand better, you would write it down in the side spaces. Yeah, yeah, sir, yes. Yeah. Yes, All right. Sir. So uh, let me understand this. I mean, Maru has uh, regular videos. Maru has revision videos. Maru has MCQ discussion videos. Uh, Maru has so many things and it, it's a bouquet, right? It's a buffet of information for you to use. What yes, was your, uh, among all these things, right? The regular videos, the revision videos and the MCQ discussion videos. What did you uh, go to for, uh, you know, uh, for this INI set specifically? So uh, for this INI set, I found uh, revision videos, particularly the revision videos of the sixth edition to be very high yield. So I, I think uh, that has really been helpful for me. Uh, and uh, I have watched how, how, the how main... In terms of uh, uh, being very specific or in terms of... Uh, so I, I think uh, I think they have covered the most important high, high yield topics of both NEET and INICET. So before, uh, actually my NEET uh, PG rank was uh, 433, which happened on March, uh, March of 5th of March. So uh, before that, I didn't see any revision videos. So after that, I realized that you should focus on the import, most important topics very well. So after that, I watched the revision videos. And uh, the after that, I understood that these are the important topics and all. And uh, that has been really helpful for me 
today. Right. I, I mean, designing the revision videos is actually hard for us because, see, everything is important and we know that, right? From cover to cover, anything can be asked, particularly in high stakes exam like I and I said. But uh, the, the revision videos are designed specifically considering the previous year topics and the updates that are necessary to crack such an exam. And that is how all the teachers have planned their revision videos. And I'm sure that has really, really worked for you. Now, let's yeah. move on to the question bank part of uh, Marrow because uh, all the toppers, all the students I have spoken to who have cracked the exams, whether it's INI set or NEET PG, they have vouched for it. They have said there is nothing better in terms of uh, the marrow, in terms of any Q bank available in the market. I want to understand how this Q bank was helpful to you and which part of the Q bank was uh, pivotal in cracking this exam for you. So actually, uh, one of the things I, I, what I did was I watched the video. Suppose I watched the sports injury video of your uh, your ortho modules, and then I used to do the Q bank of that. So then after that, I used to bookmark certain volatile topics like the names of the tests and all. So I used to bookmark that, and after that, I used to uh, either revise or just filter out what I remember and all. So that has been really helpful, sir. So these bookmarks that you would make, right? There must have been many. Usually students yeah. have the huge numbers of bookmark questions. How would you revise those bookmark questions? Did you use custom modules? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, custom modules have been uh, uh, really helpful. So while solving the question, there would be many approaches how we solve it. So uh, custom using custom modules uh, helped me in resolving the question and correcting my approach towards the question. So uh, that that has been really helpful. Like I used to use both test and uh, QBank types. So I would get an uh, environment uh, test environment also in that. So so in the custom modules, you would select the bookmark questions as a filter. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. and previous year's questions also. Okay. So for people who do not know what custom modules is, it basically allows you to create your own set of questions or a, a set of test right, to help you focus on a particular area of your preparation, if you're weak in a particular subject or a particular area of preparation. So what would what Anirudh would do is, uh, he would use custom modules and select the filter of bookmark questions. So the custom modules or the exam that is created, customized for you, would select all the bookmark questions and present it to you again. So that way you would be able to revise the bookmark questions. And these are the questions that you were weak in or you were uh, confused in. And this would help you uh, focus on your weak and confused areas. Uh, all right. So what about schema feature? Have you tried the schema feature that is available in the question bank? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the schema feature has been really helpful for me. So in an exam like INICET, uh, previous year's topics and previous year's questions would be really important. So like majority of the questions would be coming from previous year's topics and previous year's questions only. So the, the what how I use schema is that I have noted down the important topics and tried to revise them up like perfectly and many times. So that has really helped me. Uh, instead of revising ho the ho whole notes, I, I used to revise the high yield topics. Where I used to emphasize the high yield topics. Okay. So for people who do not know what schema is, schema is basically uh, a set, a list of topics uh, that are high yield and they have been aggregated uh, based on uh, the, the number of times the question has been asked, the number of times the to topic has been touched up on the exam, and they have been arranged uh, categorically from top to bottom in terms of its importance. So suppose you take orthopedics, immediately the scheme of orthopedics will show you which are the most important topics that are likely to be asked on your exam. So if you're someone who is familiar with the subject but only wants to focus on the very high yield topics, schema will guide you uh, what to focus on. And that is what Anirudh has done. He has focused on those high yield topics and revise them again and again rather than revising everything and you know wasting a precious time that is a wonderful uh, strategy now what about uh, tests anirudh did you take a grand tests uh, and the subject wise test on the marrow platform uh, so so i have particularly taken the mini test and the grand test uh, mm -hmm. i have taken certain subjects like first second years ka, uh, i i took subject wise test so okay. uh, yeah so how how would you uh, you rate the the tests the the the, uh, the algorithm of the test the difficulty of the test the planning of the test the, and the arrangement of questions on the platform that will mimic the actual exam? Uh, so the test would cover high yield topics, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the questions are not like their questions are uh, you know uh, they are really good and I felt like I should know this concept. They used to clear out the concept like. Certain things I used to differentiate between certain things and uh, it cleared a lot of concepts doing tests. 
rather than so reading the notes strategy is practicing to it. questions that will help you focus on the area that you should remember right to help you focus on the concept that you should remember that is the strategy of creating the question and did you find that the questions in the tests were uh, you know serving that purpose to help you understand what you should remember yeah yes sir yes sir yes sir definitely what about the explanations anirudh what were, what about the explanations of the uh, test papers uh so uh, i found them uh, really to be useful so so uh, in an exam like in set like a lot of previous year topics would be asked and they would twist the question like what is this and they would twist the question like true true or false or they would twist it again in the same topic only so reading the relevant topic in the explanation has helped me a lot uh, in cracking the exam the purpose of the explanation is not only to tell you what is the right answer the purpose of the explanation basically is to tell you why why that answer is the right answer and why other options although seem correct are not correct and that is how all the explanations are designed in the the q bank as well as in the grand test and then when you read through them you will realize how to think like an examiner and that will help you answer questions if they are new and different from the previously asked um, topics and questions now how often would you take grand test anirudh so i used to take one grand test in uh, 10 days 10 to 15 days Okay. What about reviewing the grant test? Because a lot of students find it tedious and a lot, you know, time-consuming to go through the answers of all the questions they have attempted. How would you review your grant tests? So I used to put a fair amount of time towards the uh, grant test sir, because I, uh, uh, one of the things Maro grant test does is that it covers high yield topics. So even though I I mark the question correct, I used to read the explanation below it because it's one of the high yield topics that that is going to be asked in the exam or it is one of the previous years topic so uh, even though i i made the question correct uh, i would just read the explanation or the related topic so so why would you do that even though you have marked the answer correct why would you re read the explanation would you find something important yeah yes sir. Uh, some certain concept or uh, some questions you would just guess guess them correct or something like that uh reading the, uh, it covers the relevant topic and uh, it it differentiates between the different options like why why this is not the answer why this is the answer yeah that, so that's what that has been really you. helpful right so even if you get it right uh, reading through the options and reading through the explanations will help you understand why you got it right and if it was something like a fluke or a guess that made it right now you're confident about why it is right and you have an accurate answer uh, for that question now what about the gt analytics right after giving grant tests you will get these graphs and analytics to help you understand gra uh, you know graphically where you are weak where you are strong and what topics you should focus on in terms of uh, you know working up your preparation did you use the gt analytics to your advantage uh yes sir yes sir uh, so uh, to, uh, ofta has been one of my weakest subjects so uh, after seeing the analytics i i got to know that ofta is one of my uh, weakest subjects so i put a lot of time towards it so and now after after give after putting time and you know giving another gta i found out that you know uh, i i reached the mark like all right now how would you rate this exam this uh, ini set exam that was conducted uh, recently how would you rate it in terms of difficulty from a scale of 1 to 10 based on your past year papers i mean how was it difficult was it similar to past year papers was it uh, different if it were different how can you please help us understand that uh so uh, i gave the november paper to sir november ini set so mm -hmm. i i would i would say that uh, it is a little bit difficult than the november ini set Uh, why would okay. you say that it's difficult so, i mean the questions were different or were the topics different so certain questions uh, i couldn't even you know eliminate anything out of the four options so certain questions were like uh, i couldn't know anything uh, they were completely out of the blue and so i didn't focus much on the questions in the exam right how many questions did you attempt anirudh so i attempted 189 189 189 so Uh, that is the reason I, i keep telling and everyone keeps telling that you have to be aggressive with your attempts still not attempting the questions you have absolutely no clue about so i'm sure you left out the questions you had no clue about yes sir. Uh, uh certain questions uh, in which i haven't even eliminated two options i have left them out sir excellent excellent strategy i mean i think that is the reason you you could secure such a good rank you know being more aggressive and being more careful in terms of questions you did not understand uh, how would you how would you say that the exam difficulty was in terms of being representative with your ini mock exam that you wrote before uh, 
uh, you know, before a few weeks of the INI set. What was your rank in the INI set mock on Marrow platform and the actual exam? So uh, on the mock platform, my rank was close to uh, 90, sir, mm -hmm. uh, in the INI set mock exam. And mm -hmm. uh, b barring the questions which were like out of syllabus or out of the blue, uh, I think Marrow has Marrow has covered almost all the questions which are high yield topics and repeatedly asked topics in the uh, grand test. Awesome. So, so, so you should aim for a very good rank in the mock exam and that and hopefully it will be representative uh, in the real exam as well. So uh, that is about your strategy. And I'm so thankful that you shared and took the pains and time to explain everything in detail uh, for your juniors. Uh, before I end the session, I want you to take this platform and uh, guide your juniors and tell them what they should do. I mean, what are the few things that they should do um, to ace or crack this INI set exam? So uh, uh, I would tell them to be not not to be scared of GTS because consider GTS as a learning platform rather than you know gauging the rank uh, because uh, the final exam ranks are gonna be different from what the GT ranks are and don't get disheartened by the rank and the second thing uh, I would want them to uh, know is that believe in yourself no matter what uh, that thing is gonna carry you till the end. Awesome, right? So GTS. Uh, don't be afraid to take it and believing in yourself. Now, Anirudh, uh, uh, what about your your hobbies? I mean, it, it seems like that you, you, you've you been busy studying all the while and to get such a rank, it takes a lot of time and effort. What would you do to, you know, stress bust? Uh, so I used to listen to music a lot. So. Okay. Who's your favorite singer? <laughs> Weekend. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So anyone in particular you would like to thank uh, for securing such an uh -huh. amazing rank? I would like to thank my parents and uh, friends and particularly my sister who has been uh, through this journey with me all, all this time. So she, she has been really helpful for me, you know, uh, during this time. So, yeah. So, so do you have your parents with you? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, I have them. Okay. Do they want uh, to share this space with you and congratulate you in front of yeah. everyone? Yes. Yeah. So can you bring them? Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, Congratulations. Namaste. Hello. Namaste, madam. Congratulations uh, for such an amazing, amazing, you know, <laughs> awesome happiness. And I'm sure that it must be awesome to have a child who has secured, uh, you know, AIMS mm -hmm. UG and now AIMS in PG. Yeah. We are not so, able to hear uh, uh, I, I was saying it must feel amazing to have a son who has cracked not only AIMS in UG, but also in PG. How does it feel? <laughs> We are so happy and thank you so much for giving support uh, for him. Uh, it, it, we are just the mentors. I mean, it is all his hard work and your affection and guidance. We are just here to mentor him. And it's such such it's an amazing news for all of us. And we are so proud of Anirudh. And I'm sure that he will find more success and bring pride to you and your family. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Anirudh. Uh, I wish you all the best. What is the speciality or we are planning to pursue in the future? Uh, I want to take general medicine in uh, my alumni college. Awesome. Awesome. To... Okay. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for uh, giving your valuable time and sharing your strategy with all of us. I wish you all the best. And I hope people watching this uh, will find it useful and use it to their advantage. Thank you and have a great night. Bye-bye.